Uh, I was thinking that uh, I have a lot of classic uh, telescopes and also telescopes like the ETX that they don't have any tube rings. You have to buy tube rings. And I really don't want to buy, you know, tube rings. They don't come secondhand easily. And this is a, a F20 60mm telescope. It, uh, it, if it, it didn't come with a tube ring, it has a, one of those old, uh, you know, uh, very old uh, tripods, wooden tripods. I don't want to use any of them. I want to use it in my Altazimoto Sky T2. So what I have to do is to find a way that I can attach uh, this dovetail uh, to the tube like that, stay with it. So I was thinking that if I use anything like a foam or anything like this liner material for the seat to use it, I can practically without scratching it with a cable tie I can attach it to them. Let's just do it and see how it works. I will show you the result and uh, you can judge for yourself how it is. Okay, this is the size of my dovetail. Very really good with the Wixen. So if I put it like that, uh, attach it with the cable tie to the liner, that practically works for me. I have to put one here and one there so the middle part of it will be free to attach to the clamp. And I have enough space also to balance it okay I have cut it I cut a little bit more so the edge of this will not be actually scratching the tube and uh, yeah, yeah let's go ahead and do the rest okay now I've done it uh, this is 30 millimeter 30 300 millimeter cable tie if it was a little bit bigger that was better but anyway it's adequate at the moment so you can even move it but uh, for moving you have to take it from here and push it that way that way you can actually adjust it and I'm now going to test it. This take, took me less than two minutes, 120 seconds. Filming it probably took more time. Oh, hallelujah, it worked. It's beautiful. Also the white material I use, it doesn't stand out. It's beautiful. Look at that sky tea and the beauty of this refractor. I'm really excited to, you know, to look uh, through this telescope. The cable tie is working. I can adjust the, uh, you know, focus, easy, uh, is a sturdy, strong, robust, practically. And at the same time, I can turn and twist the tube if I want to change the position of the thing. And the clamp is holding it really well on the sky tee. I'm really excited about this to use it. The material is also nice. Uh, it's soft to the touch. At the same time, just the clamp will not uh, uh, scratch my tube in a way. That's really exciting uh, material. I love this invention. I made invention. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now let's remove the... Yeah, that's it. Now we have a telescope, a classic telescope, and a perfect tube ring on an uh, altosimate mouth. Or any other mouth. Okay. You can put it in a uh, GM. GM, yeah. And do astrophotography with it. Now let's do a test. Let's go with the eyepiece and see how it will look. I'm looking at the target nearby, so I'm adjusting it. And that was a view through the straight light with a 25mm Huygens uh, eyepiece. Now I have done exactly the same for the Zemex Ico or, or Monolux 60mm uh, uh, refractor. The dovetail is attached by the cable ties and with a little bit of flock, uh, uh, this is this material you use in the chairs when you want to line them and then put the fabric on top. So this is now done. I have now done and I can just now go and try it. Now I have done this for this MX Ico monologues also, and that is on the mount, as you can see here. So this is the F20, and this is a, another one, the F16 or 14, something like that, I forgot it. I will include it in the description. I'm using an adapter to, can, we can use a Celestron one and a quarter eyepiece on this. So let's just see how there is the view through this telescope.
now with this mount I can easily turn it around easy it's so nice better than a normal <laughs> tubing okay we are looking at that uh, street light let's just go and see how is the view That was the view through the Zemex Monolux ICO telescope. Also, when the classic uh, telescopes, and many telescopes, cheap telescopes also like that, they have uh, this optical grease here, which is really sticky, and they can actually break your thing, so it's better to remove that, and the way to remove it is to use WD-40 solution, or if you don't have it, diesel fuel or petrol or anything that uh, you know can dissolve this kind of oily material greasy material uh, or kerosene white oil white petroleum or paraffin as you call it in Britain you can use that and that will get rid of that grease all in all is now given new lease of life to this uh, classic telescope so I'm going to use it for all my uh, you know refractors now I have two beautiful telescopes, classic ones, which was uh, I was not able to use it because the mount was so cumbersome and so unfriendly. Now I can use it with these two on any you know uh, uh, mount and tripod that takes the Vixen. Beautiful, and uh, I'm really impressed now with the quality. I'm going to the next time that there is a um, you know good event like a clear night with the moon and the Jupiter. I will try to test them again, see how they do. I'm really pleased. If you're using for anything bigger than that, these 30 millimeter, uh, 300 millimeter uh, cable ties will not be adequate. So if you're using for anything bigger, you have to take the bigger cable ties, uh, one foot to a 30 millimeter, three, 30 centimeter cable ties is good for 60 millimeter um, refractors.